There was something about that night, probably the full moon, she looked so beautiful, I had to romance her. I grew up in Bandar Bombay, the pressure to be a good girl was intense, but at 13, I was like, fuck that shit. I cut off my hair with super short skirts, rode a motorcycle, hung out with boys, and refused to be what they asked. On my way to school, the neighborhood would chant, Eh, Rand, eh, Randi, eh, Or, Isko dek, iski kapde dek. Papa used to walk with his head bowed in shame. But my papa was a fucking stud. He owned a cabaret joint, the Blue Nile, and dressed like Elvis. He would come home at 2 a.m. so drunk, he could never find the keyhole. I would silently rise and let him in. Sometimes, without a word between them, I'd hear dad beat the shit out of mom. Dad beat mom. Mom beat us. That's just the way we roll. At 14, I called three boys to drop their pants. It was time to see the dragon swords. I had been called a whore so early that being a virgin was pointless and I dispensed with that medal in no time at all. It hurts to be called a rand, but around here it hurts anyway to be a girl. As I grew into a woman, expect nothing of me, I told them, with my ink skin and my dyed hair. I'm doing this on my terms. Christmas Eve in America is special. I wanted to feel like a woman. I chose a short, 
fitted, sexy black dress, black lace thongs, fuck me red lipstick, and killer heels. I have great legs. They're not the most beautiful, they have scars, but they are strong. I arrive at the bar and get to biz. I'm here to drink, and drink I do. I don't know how many shots later, only amateurs count the number of drinks. I leave the bar at 2 a.m. I high five the bouncer on my way out and walk into the luminous night. I pass a dumpster. It reminds me of home. My childhood bedroom overlooked one. I see my father lingering there. Merry Christmas, Billy. You look beautiful tonight. Fuck! I must be drunk. Suddenly the senses are awake. The body already knows. Four boys are coming towards me. They look like college kids. Their skin so white, snow so beautiful. One of them pulls a gun. I'm down on my knees with the metal pole pressed to the side of my head. Bitch, slut, cunt. They start circling me, saying it like a chant. Now get busy, whore, and swallow each one of us or you're fucking dead. He cocks the gun grabs my hair and forces himself into my mouth. I think of the day I call the boys to show me their dragon swords. I cry for that brave young girl now on her knees in the snow. Bitch, slut, cunt, I swallow. Three down, one more to go. Just get it over with and fucking get home alive. The last one grabs my neck and hesitates for a moment, like I might just be a human being. The others start laughing and he has something to prove now. He rapes my mouth so hard I think it's gonna tear apart. He claws my back till it starts bleeding. And when he's done with me, he shoves me in the snow by the dumpster like that piece of trash they think I am. I think it's over. I keep my eyes closed and hope that they are gone. But the fucker comes back. They're still laughing at him, and he's not done proving he's a man. Tears my sexy dress upward, the one I save for the movie. He spreads me like rubber, my eyes are closed, my face is covered in cum. Everything goes silent as he rapes me. Then they run off, laughing, high-fiving. Silent night, holy night. The moon pours her light into me. I feel my mother behind me. Utja Gundi, Utja, she says from across the world. Get on your feet, that's what we do. That's just what we do. streets. I lock my front door. I put on some Nina Simone. I pour a drink, draw a bath, and lie in there for hours. Yeah, it was time to go home. 
I had come an awful long way from that girl in Bombay to be gang raped in America. To act does not mean to pretend. It means to take action. I stand here today on behalf of every single person who has been sexually violated. And I want you to know, I still wear short, sexy, tight, black dresses, black lace thong, fuck me red lipstick and killer heels. And that was <laughs> Sapna Bhavnani's story. Thank you so much, Sapna. That was mind-blowing. She just performed a piece from a play that she enacted in Mumbai and across the world. I have no words, really. Thank you for having the courage to share that with us. We would also like to thank Stefan K, who was accompanying her on the acoustic piano. Stefan K is one of India's leading pianists. Thank you so much, Stefan. <laughs>